everyone, uh, welcome to our today's tutorial on cablings. Um, in today's video, I'm going to be taking you on how to make your um, doctor's coats, or you call it your lab coats. And in our former video, which will show you how to cut it. In this video, I'm going to show you how to join every piece. So while you watch, don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. Also follow us on Facebook. So I won't be taking too much of your time. Like I said, I've done the cutting of this. I'm going to link it to this video, so you check the description button. So we we'll go straight to the table as we have here, and then I'll show you how to join this piece. Okay, so this is it. The front part is in two pieces. Like we have our shirt. This is the two-piece side of the front, and this is the back. So we're going to be joining it shoulder to shoulder first. So I'm going to take the shoulder of one of the piece of the front and join it body to body. That's the front side and the front side of the fabric. So close. So then I'll take the other part of the front and this is well. Bring the other shoulder closer using the same half an inch to stitch this down. So because it's a shirt, pattern of clothes making, I'm going to weave this area, which is the shoulder, and then I'll prepare the sleeve, connect it first, close the body, and then show you how to go about the neck. So I'm going to get the sleeve to do this. And so now I've prepared the sleeve, you can see I've woven it neatly and then I've turned it, you can see, and then I've um, also done the weaving of the facing for the front parts for a bottom stand, you can see, so it's looking neat inside. So I'm going to be connecting the sleeve just as we do with our shirt. So for those of you that have issues with connecting your sleeve from the armhole area, you can start from the shoulder point and then turn. And then make sure your sewing allowance is always facing the back side. And even the shoulder, you can see I've woven the shoulder. I'm going to carefully whip this. Sew this down, sorry. So take it. So I'm going to take this step by step using half inch to sew. So you can see. And it's always advisable to cut the connection of your arm of the sleeve. At least a bit excess than the one of the body or equal. So to make it easy, and then I'll turn this. I'm going to sew the same half inch. I'll do the same for the other sleeve, and I'm sure it is. My, closing my sleeve with half an inch, you can see. I'll take that all the way up. I'm going to manage my half inch. You can manage your half inch without the tape. When you do, and then if you can't, you have to chuck it one after the other till you get to the Side ready. So you can see I've connected the sleeve to the body and I've woven it. You can see how neat it looks. Everywhere properly woven. So when you're making you just try to make it look very neat like this. So you see. So I'm going to check the neck. You can see where my neck measurement is supposed to pass. It's going to start from because I need this to serve as my bottom stand. So from here, I'm going to be taking in another one inch backward because this is going to stand as by facing the facing of my button. And I'm going to be having another inch here, a quarter inch for my button stand before the neck. So this from here of that much, I'm going to go in taking one quarter, just one quarter, not one and a half, because I already have the front face closed. So 
I'm going to notch here as well. This is where my collar is going to start from direct. You can see. So from there, I'm going to calculate my neck measurement. This way. From this point, I'll go back this way. Whatever I have from there, I think I'm going to use it with collar. So the total of everything I have is seven to quarter. You see, seven to quarter, that's in total of um, 15 and a half inches. So we're going to go down to the table and prepare the collar of this and then round this off. So we can leave the bottom and then we're done with our lap coats. You can see, almost done. And then we have our pockets at the downside and at the breast area. So we're done. So this is our seven to quarter. I'm going to measure it out here. Then I'm going to add quarter to it, not half. I'm going to add quarter to this part. You can add half if you want, but I'm going to be adding quarter. So then I'm going to take my stand. I'm going to be using three inches. So I want it a bit bold. You can make yours two and a half, but I want mine to end at two and a half inches. So I'll do three inches here. Then I'll come to this point. Here, and then I'll take half inch up and then use my ruler to adjust it to this part which is the center part of it and then whatever I have in total here which is 8 inches I'll bring it up here and fill it with it and then I'll cut this out I'll match the middle. So this is it. So you can have your own having open it here if you want, and you can also leave it this way. So I'm going to iron this out because I don't want to have joining at the upper side of the collar. So I'll go down to the machine and sew quarter here, quarter. Um, you can also apply your soft stay here if you want to color to be standing. You know the soft stay. Um, is this soft stay we have? So we have the S stay. You can use your S stay to make it a bit firm, but you can use this soft stay. You can see this one is also stopped. You can easily sew it. So I'm going to be applying a little of this on it, so to just make it stand a little. So I'll keep this aside. Then I'll just place this on it and iron it. So I'm going to be sewing this using my quarter like I told you, you can see, I'm using quarter inch, so I'll take the same quarter all the way up, no addition, so I'll notch it upside up, chop it up, so I don't have anything good in that area. Notch this up. Then I'll turn it. You can see how relaxed it looks because I've notched that outside. You can see I'll turn this one as well. You can see. So we'll just iron this out. Before that, let me just hold this down so that when you're ironing, it's easy for you. You can see. So to get the collar connected, I'm going to take the notch point of my collar to meet the notch point of the neck from the back side, pinning it down, and then I'll go to meet this part of the neck where my neck measurement starts from. From here, but first of all, hold this down, or you can as well, if you can manage, take this inside. You can see 
this is my um, button stand facing I'm going to pick it inside running it with half inch let's pick it carefully making sure everything is equal making sure my sewing allowance for the shoulder is facing the back as well same way I did with the shoulder and then I'll take this in you can see it's equal then I'll take my pin off so it doesn't break my needle where I'm working so same thing I'll do with this shoulder I'll take it back as well relaxing my collar you can see it's meeting this point which is the accurate point and then I'll take my pin again and pin it down so I'll sew from there using my half inch I run this carefully when I get it to this point I'll take this inside put it down using my half inch to end it so you see we are done with the color you can see we've got it now not much ready you can also, we also have the one that you can have it pointing out like extra inch you can also have the one that you just have this way you can see it when you have that thing if you want that one you want to make that idea i'm going to show you i carefully use this show you you carefully leave this out if you want that method and then you see this point here you take it inside this way leaving this extra inch here you can see it and then we match it back This way and back with your half inch. There's like two ways of using your color with this pattern. So when I turn this out, can you see we have another color out again. So it's like having two types if you don't want to do the other method. Let's see what this one is showing. What this one is showing. I'm going to make both of them the same. Color using this idea which is a general idea that everybody does so I'm going to use this like I did with the other one and adjust it to make the same inch that I notched before okay do just this I'm going to take it from this point here of the notch area Match it down with half inch. So for those of you who want to go into the court track of making a lab coat for schools or selling out, this is just one simple method. So while you're watching, don't forget to subscribe. Also turn on your notification, please. Because I'm sure this video is going to be very, very helpful. So, I guess I'm going to notch here so that the turning of here is going to be looking very, very neat. You see, so I'll do the same thing here. I'm not sure as well. So, from the inside, we're going to weave the collar on the inside, making this whole place look very, very neat. So, this is it. It will have put so when you do this way, you will have this. You can see this inside is also neat. So I'm going to move the bottom side and then close this up. Knowing that we're in, we're having just the pocket to go. So you can see 
we're done with the body part of it all we have to do now you can see we've woven the bottom side of it we just fold and everything is done so this is the pocket area we have one at the right side and this is the left angle where we have the breast pocket to be able to put our um bio or any little thing we want to put inside of it this is the the down pocket to throw things inside you can see it's wide enough like i showed you in the video when we were making um the pocket you can see what it came out eight inches left out and then we have at least nine inches long so to be able to get your pockets ready you come to the um, shoulder area and take at least seven and a half inches or eight depending on the length of the person or the body size of the person you can see i had eight inches to be able to have my breast pocket at the left side sorry and then um for my down pocket I measured from the downside so I don't get confused. I took about 10 quarter. You can see my 10 quarter, in which if I fold it my one inch, it's going to be remaining nine inches left for me here. So you can see. So from the bottom side, you can use 10 and a half inch, depending on how long this waistcoat is. You can use um, 10 and a half inches and then fold with just one inch, and then you're good to go. So I'm just going to go down to the machine and match this pockets down and then for the bottom side of this and then you can see while our, our waistcoat is our lab coats is ready so you can see i placed my pockets on the button hole stand facing so that it doesn't run out on its own you can see so once i match this down the inside is not going anywhere once i match this down it's not going anywhere and then when we turn the bottom side wow it's going to just stay there so I just go down to the table and round this up. We're running the pockets, pocketing to the body to make it become a pocket. So run it this way. this inside not just like this but take this inside and then run it my one inch and I'll turn it inside out and just how it's supposed to be and then this guy will go in turn it in Using my one hand to match that. So I want to stay side out. Push this out. So I'm going to follow that inch carefully. Okay, can control it this way like me. And still no problem. So keep using the one inch. Don't need to waste too much of inch on hemming. It's just to hold the bottom of the clothes, not to release it or any fancy there. So, guys, we are almost done. We are almost done. 